Hi all, this time we're gonna live config our uh, machine with a TB6560 inside here. It's a real machine, it's one of my mini mills here, magic inside. So how we gonna do it? Here is the cable, there are, there's your PC, it's this one, it's a standard Fujitsu, I use often. And also running here is the software, it's the main operation system. And on the side here, you can see we have the pinout from the board, from the TB6560. So let's start our configuration. Here on the menu, we have a CNC menu. And we go down first, check the latency. We have a latency around 8,000. Here the base trade is about 11,000. Now it should work with 15,000. If you have uh, Mach 3, Mach 3, you will have a latency advice in your uh, setup wizard. As we start now here, CNC step up, step conf wizard. I hope you can read it, it's the last in the menu. And it will pop up with our system here. So we start it, simply start it. We make a new, gener a new configuration, you can import from Mach. You can also modify uh, or a set uh, already made configuration. So forward. And there comes the machine name. I name it A test. So we have a XY set standard. You can have the millimeter here. I leave as a TP. I leave that numbers here 5000, 5000, 20,000, 20,000. And for the latency, I will give it here 15,000. Then cat can get here 33,000 steps per second. So you can go up here to 20,000 if you want or higher. The maximum will be 100,000 uh, in the configuration file. Okay, so let's go one power port. Here the system has two power ports as it recognizes here forward. We're coming here now to the numbers that are needed to put in. Here these are is the pin configuration you see here on the side that comes with the board. Here's the power port base address. It's 0x2008. Where do I get this from? Simply start the terminal here and give it a message. It's the message slash Let's say if I can go this way here. Yeah, D message slash grab power port. So give it away and you will get some numbers. And here you see the system has a power port zero at 2008. It's a EPP power port. You also have a second power port here with 2018 as a number. So this is the number how to get it and to put it in. So now here we go for the entries. We have here we can decide TB6560X3 axis, but the boards have different numbers. So you need to look, this will not fit your board, be sure. So preset it and you will see X step pin one. Here it says, okay, but the second pin is X enable and here it's not, it's a spindle on. So let's say uh, driver enable and go on with the third pin is X deer, uh, Y deer. So Y deer, fourth pin is set deer, set Deer here, fifth is set step. The sixth pin is also X enable. You can have 
uh, every number that you see on on any pin you want and you have can you can have more outputs if you have two drivers for x you can also set a pin the uh, second pin pair to the x driver so where we are we are on pin six let's say seven is x dear seven x dear uh, x dear is this one eight we have y step y step nine is the spindle on so nine here we have a spindle on pin 14 is also x enable you see here the inputs i will not configure the inputs for the first time so 14 is x enable also driver enable the 16 goes to the pvm out pvm out and the 17 is not connected so here we have back to the machine we have here a pvm to analog driver inside to get the spindle on rpm controlled so this is it for this side let's go forward here you can see maybe i can check the different yes we i think here you see it's uh we use access the normal the standard one or you can have a more comfortable uh, GUI system this is more like mark 3 here in emc linux cnc you have can, can have a manual tool change you can have uh, some inputs from outside you even can have a side panel here you will see it on other videos and let's go forward this here is now the configuration for the axis itself our we have stepper drivers here as you can see here there are stepper motors on site and this normally have 1.8 degrees so 200 steps per revolution i use always half stepping so it gets uh, 200 by time by two so 400 steps as you have seen here on the site i always use a timing belt system course for a smoother run if you go direct you will run in some trouble maybe invest those 10 euros to get it more uh, the system more smoothly so it's the timing the the t's number on the motor and the spindle i use 20 on the motors and 15 on the spindle as i got a three millimeter uh, spindle system it's let's go back to the system here it's a standard traditional one and for the education it works it works also perfect if you have a, a precise stepping system it works perfect for uh, the numbers and the precision here you see we now are back down here on 100 steps per millimeter so we have 0 0.01 millimeter precision go back to the configuration max speed here we use 40 as a start it's millimeter per second and the start here i will go to 100 so i have uh, the driving way is from 0 to 200 i let, we leave it here you can input your numbers now we can test our system uh, as you see here i will power and you have feared it ejected here so we have power on the system and i now can go to access test the access itself uh, it will input the numbers and here you will see uh, left right i will put it to left right to drive it in the middle 
and here we'll go let's say 50 millimeters to both sides and here you can say plus minus or plus or both and I will say test it now you can see the machine moves left and right with the speed what is the best you can do here is to find where the, the, the steppers stall yeah here you can go go up let's say here to 200 and now it will on the edge see here it will go much further much more speedy so you are down with the corners yeah we'll stop it here and go back you see here with these numbers we are on 0 0.4 on the corner and it uses 8 millimeter to go on full speed so I will go up here as you have seen and we can run easily 200 so we are on 4 millimeter to, sp to full speed and 0 0.2 seconds so we use 4000 steps per second okay next one next one next one you can configure as you know now we are on the spindle here the spindle I use has 400 heads here and uh, I have here it's 20,000 rpm so let's say here 0 0.2 is 2000 and one will be 20,000 so there we go this is the configuration for the spindle forward and say we are done okay yes so let's start up the system here we have CNC Linux CNC and our machine should be here in the first here a b test no where we are here a test the machine is inside this folder here not the folder itself it's inside the folder so hit here okay and the system you see here it's 2.8 will come up here and let's say you see we have the system running okay I will now reference here it doesn't matter here you need to reference one at the time if you have referenced the system here you can now run your G code but I will say let's do a, a spindle test so here's the bottom down there and I think you can hear it we can now get our spindle to different speeds and can run the machine so I am 5 here manual control or MDI mode for direct input can also start the spindle here or stop it here and now you can move and can position here is the the zeroing of the axis here are the, the zero points always use the first one if you are standard and set the number where you are where the tool is so this is it for the configuration 14 minutes in time we have a running system I hope you enjoyed it here you can download the DVD from the linuxcnc.org site and can make your system running here close if you have close close the machine output it go to uh, the stop mode and then first close down the power to the machine and then if the power is off close down the system itself and you are finished. Bye till the next time.